Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you how I make baby food meal prep. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks! So here are my raw ingredients right now. I am going to be steaming most of them um, except for the banana, for the chia seeds and for the sweet potato and potatoes that are in the oven right now. Especially for baby food, I try to make them organic as much as I could. So here is the breakdown of my ingredients for all these recipes. I have green beans broccoli, kale, spinach, frozen blueberries, frozen corn, frozen mangoes, beets, apples, pears, bananas, boiled quinoa, and boiled lentils. I boiled this for about 15 minutes. Canned black beans, and chia seeds that I have soaked for the last 20 minutes. Here are the sweet potatoes and potatoes that I am baking for 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they're done. You could also boil them but I prefer baking them because I feel like the flavor stays with them when I bake them. Okay, let's get started with the steaming. This one is the broccoli and the green beans. I don't steam them for long because I don't want to overcook them. I steam them for about 8 minutes um, because I don't want to overcook them because it destroys all the nutrients. With kale and spinach, I only steam them for about 3 to 4 minutes because again, you don't want to overcook it. With apples and pears, I steam them for about 8 to 10 minutes or until they're soft. With corn, I only steam it for five minutes because it's already cooked. And with frozen blueberries, again, three to five minutes. With beets, I steam it for about 15 minutes because they're a little harder, so it takes a little longer. These are where I store my baby foods. They are the tiniest mason jars and they're non-toxic. And again, they're glass, so I prefer glass over plastic. And they're very inexpensive. They're about $15 for a dozen. And let's begin with our blending. First off is my broccoli and potato combinations. So you saw how I steamed my broccoli for about eight minutes and I baked these potatoes. So you just basically put them in your Nutribullet or your blender or food processor. At this point, I prefer the blender because it's smoother than the food processor. When my baby gets a little older, I'm probably gonna be using food processor more because it gives you more chunks. But right now I am gonna be using um, my Nutribullet. You just basically mix in your steamed broccoli and your potato, add a little water, and then you just blend it till it's nice and smooth. Transfer them to those little mason jars, and let it cool before putting it in the freezer. Recipe number two is our quinoa and steamed pears. You just put them together in the blender, put a little bit of water, blend it until you get your desired consistency. Recipe number three is green beans and sweet potatoes and add a little bit of water. Um, with all this recipe that I'm showing you guys, you can always use 
um, baby formula or breast milk but um, I prefer just using water for now. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and if you are please hit the thumbs up and um, comment down below of what you think of this video and if you want me to show you some other recipes or if you want more baby related videos please, please hit subscribe and I would be so happy to have you here on my channel. Recipe number four is the mangoes, spinach, steamed spinach, and soaked chia seeds. Moving on to another recipe is the black beans and banana. Here I just use the organic canned black beans. Um, you can always use, you can always make your own black beans, but I find that very time consuming. So I am just using organic canned black beans and I rinse and drain them really well before I blend them with the banana. In this recipe, I made a mistake by putting a little too much water, so now I'm just adding a little bit of chia seeds to make it a little more thicker. Next recipe is the corn and potatoes. Up next is the steamed kale and sweet potatoes. This recipe, I am very, very happy that my baby eats this because um, kale is an amazing vegetable. And you guys, when you try this recipe, you'll be shocked of how much the sweet potato covers up the tartness of the kale. You really just taste a little bit of it, but the sweetness of the sweet potato really, really rises and you can always fool your kid that this is just plain sweet potato. I call this green sweet potato. Next one is our lentils and apples. With this particular recipe, I prefer to use the split lentils because it's much faster to cook. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for it to boil and to be fully cooked. Whereas if I use the whole lentils, it's much longer. It takes about an hour for it to be fully cooked. Next one is the blueberries and beets and a little bit of uh, banana, just half of the banana. This recipe is packed with iron. So if you are having 
a baby that's a little anemic I highly suggest this recipe I'm not a doctor or anything like that but I have read a lot about this recipe and this actually will help a lot with your iron And we're finally done and the last step for my baby food meal prep is for me to label each and every jar. I make sure I put in the what's in the jar and the date. And this food label sticker I get from Amazon is by far my favorite. I believe it was $8 for 500 stickers. I've tried multiple different kinds of stickers but this is my favorite because it just melts. As soon as you run water underneath it, it just melts and you don't have to peel it off and it doesn't leave any sticky residue. And there you have it guys we are done with our baby food meal prep this will last my baby he's only seven months right now so this will last him about two weeks um you can always make more to last you longer or you can make a little less if you um want to just make a little at a time this will be good in the freezer for about two months but i don't normally go that long i don't like to make food that long i like to keep it un under three weeks um but this is all natural all organic no preservative and you can be rest assured that you're only giving your babies nothing but amazing fresh ingredients thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys come back to my channel see you later